external clavicular joint dislocation. The clavicle is attached to the top of the shoulder, the acromion, through the AC joint. Injury to this joint will cause shoulder separation. The clavicle is attached to the sternum in the middle of the body through the sternoclavicular joint. These are the bony structures of this area. The sternoclavicular joint is supported by strong ligaments, the sternoclavicular and the costoclavicular ligaments. Injury to these ligaments can cause dislocation of the joint. The clavicle can either dislocate anteriorly or posteriorly. Anterior dislocation. The end of the clavicle will stick out near the sternum, causing a bump in the middle of the chest. Just because the patient have a bump, it doesn't mean there is an anterior dislocation. This abnormality can be caused by infection, tumor, or arthritis. CT scan of this area may be helpful. Anterior dislocation. Usually the patient have a history of trauma and pain, a bump or a swelling, a noticeable deformity. Condition is very benign. And if you put pressure on it, it may reduce the joint. Many techniques are tried for close reduction of that joint. Close reduction is usually not very successful. Conservative treatment by sling, ice, and therapy is the best for the patient. Recurrence of the deformity is common. There is a residual cosmetic deformity, and this deformity is really symptomatic. Operative technique rarely utilized. You can do a section arthroplasty of the medial end of the clavicle, preserving the costoclavicular ligament, or a sternoclavicular joint reconstruction with a graft. Posterior dislocation is dangerous. The clavicle goes posteriorly, compressing the structures in the mediastinum can cause difficulty in breathing and swallowing. X-rays are usually not helpful. It does not diagnose the problem. Obtain a CT scan if you suspect this problem. Treatment of posterior dislocation. Urgent close reduction is necessary. Close reduction is often successful and stable. Open reduction may be needed if close reduction is unsuccessful, cardiac surgeon consultation may be helpful. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.